Hello, my name is Kain San Munonye. I'm the computer engineer, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a GUI tool, NoSQL Cloud Manager, to manage MongoDB databases. You know, uh, for databases, everybody wants a GUI. But for me, I'll advise you, you, you try to understand how the command line works, the syntax, the basic command to create a database, to view your databases, to drop a database. This will help you to be able to troubleshoot when problems arise. So the first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to use the command line to do the basic thing, to view your databases, to create a new database. And then after that, I'll use a command line tool, actually NoSQL Manager or Cloud Manager to now manage MongoDB databases. So let's go ahead to use the command line to create a database in MongoDB. So let's do it together. CMD, open up your uh, command line. And the first thing you want to do, you start the MongoDB server. For you to start the MongoDB server, you want to navigate to the, Mong to the bin folder of the MongoDB installation, and that's for me, it's in drive C, MongoDB slash bin, and that is it. So for me to start the server, I have the same command here, mongo.ese, minus minus db parts, then you have the, 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 the directory of the data folder. So I run this command mongo.exe double minus db path okay c for me mongo db right slash data that is the data folder so if it happens this way network blah 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 waiting for connection on port 27017 know that you've successfully started the MongoDB server, right? Okay, so let's now connect using a client and then be able to create and uh, at least view our databases on the command line. Okay, so open up a, a second command line. This now is our client. This now is our client. This I can minimize the server. So as usual, you want to navigate to the bin folder of the MongoDB uh, installation in your Windows uh, command prompt mongo uh, mongodb slash bin. Oh, sorry, I, I had this mistake. Okay, fine. So the, the 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 to start a section or to connect to mongodb server I use a command it's very simple mongo.exe and I have connection to the server so it's telling me mongodb shell version blah 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 connecting to text so now the first command you want to learn is view your database you want to see your databases so to see the databases in the server just say show a show uh, DBS. It's as simple as that, and it lists all the databases there. I have the first one, Adaco DB, that's my elder sister, our big sister, then me, Kind Son, Oleander Saffron, Local. So I have five databases in this MongoDB server installed on my system. Now, if you want to create a new database, at least you try to learn how to create a new database in the command prompt you simply say use if you if you use the use command let's say i use an existing database okay is fine show collections as against your table so have two collections but that is not what we are talking about we are trying to create a new database so to do that just say use and specify a database the name of the database you want to create so you specify a database that is not existing. So let's say I want to create uh, a database called Old Nail. Okay, this, this name. <laughs> What's the name? Okay, Old Nail. That's the name of the database. Okay, Old Nail DB. Okay, so that's fine. So when I say show 
DBS. Wow, Hopnail is not showing up there. So what happened? Because when we created it, it created it's a switch. The problem is a database is not going to show up in the list databases if there is nothing inside. If there is no document, no collection inside, it's not going to show up. So what we are going to do now is we go ahead to create a document inside inside the Othnell DB. So as usual, you use the database. It's not case sensitive, so we don't worry about the the cases. So to create a document in Othnell DB, I'll just say DB dots uh, inserts sorry uh, the, I specify the name of the document DB dot uh, training let's call it training dot insert uh, then one single item let's say uh, name okay, let's leave it at name and the name is a kind son that is my name Munonye okay and that is just fine and then we close with the curly braces and then we close with the, the bracket so we have a right result inserted successfully so now if I run the command show dbs I'm sure I'm gonna see Othnell DB in the list of databases so this is how to create databases in the command line so but nobody would like to be typing the scripts and the command line show database, create collection, insert. So having said this, let's go out there to look for a tool, a graphical user interface tool that we can use to manage our, Mongo, our MongoDB. So we have a tool in the MongoDB website called Cloud Manager or NoSQL Cloud Manager. So if I go to uh, Google to, to uh, MongoDB database www.mongodb.org so I'm going to see two items MongoDB we have it MongoDB Cloud Manager is not free but you can get 30 days free trial and that is what I'm going to use for this uh, demo so just go ahead to click on it and then you'll be able to download your a fully functional free trial okay so that is what you are going to do for me I've already downloaded this app so if you look at my download folder you are going to see this uh, item the, 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 the second item MongoDB Manager Pro so you go ahead to install it in your system no problem I've already installed it, so I'm not going to go through all of this. I'm going to uh, about this installation. I've, on ins I've installed it already. So let's go ahead to use it. I've passed through the step two: download and install MongoDB Cloud Manager. Step three: open command prompt and change the directory to the bin directory of your MongoDB installation. Let's put away this so that we can just follow the procedure in the instruction. Uh, steps so open the command prompt what we are about to do now is to start the server running because for us to manage the database we need to start the server running so I'm going to change to the bean directory of the uh, mongodb installation so cd c uh, slash mongo db slash bean and then I run the, this command to be able to start the server. The exe double minus the uh, double minus db pass specify the path to the data directory that I created in the previous uh, tutorial. So the same mongodb slash uh, data. Make no mistake here because it's not going to work. There are errors so this is what you get this is what you get so if you get something like this that says network initialization initial init and listen waiting for connection know that you've done great right okay so 
Uh, let's now go ahead to start our NoSQL manager or the cloud manager. So they are have it installed. This is Robert Mongo after we, we talk about a different tool, but for now we open up no SQL manager, right? Okay, if you open up no SQL manager, this is what you'll see. What you'll see is this. This I'm going to remove this connection. Yes, so what you are going to do first is to create a connection to your server, right? So what you do is to start new MongoDB connection. This opens up and for now you want to leave everything at default options. So just go ahead and say OK and it successfully connects. So you have one connection right here. MongoDB works with port 27017 by default. So maybe you would not like to change it. So if you drop down you have uh, database is showing up as you can see. So remember this we created in this tutorial we created this database so can view our databases that we've uh, created. So this is a pretty uh, slick tool that uh, I actually personally enjoy using this tool to manage MongoDB. Uh, for me I'm not really uh, uh, I don't have any particular preference for tools and command lines but I can use GUI, I can use command line but for beginners try to use the, the GUI I think it's gonna be easier for you so you just create a new database you right click on databases and say create new database and just give it a name I'm going to give it a name uh, Sando DB this is my big brother uh, I give it a name and there is it. So I've created new database here, as you can see. So this tool is very important. I've been uh, going through it, and I'm going to show you how to create databases, how to create collections, how to insert data, how to delete, and how to manage your data. I hope this my video has been informative for you. Please, I, I would like to play. You try to go through this, understand it. I'm not sure it's so difficult. If you need to pause the video and review, that will be fine. If you found this in informative for you, give me a thumbs up, like my video, subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to tell me whatever problem you have in following up with this demo. Put it in, in the comment box there and I'll be there to respond to you. Once again, my name is Kainsan Munonye and I would like to thank you for viewing.